hundreds of thousands of people. You see them right there gathering in Cairo at this hour on the anniversary of President Morsi taking office. Now, there have been large anti-government demonstrations all across the country. And here in Cairo, protesters have filled Tahrir Square and the area surrounding the presidential palace. Joining me now from Cairo is NBC News foreign correspondent Ayman Mohideen. Ayman, with so many people gathering there, and we are not only watching, but we can hear them. How peaceful is this crowd? Well, you know, this is one of several taking place across the country. It is extremely large here alone outside the President's Palace. I'll step out of the way and give you a sense. You could probably see it is at least a mile and a half long of this main street that runs all the way in front of the Presidential Palace. In fact, a short while ago and still hovering above overhead is an Egyptian military helicopter. Now, not only here in Cairo outside the palace, but also inside the iconic Tahrir Square and really cities all across the country. By some estimates, it is as many as 22 million people who are expected to go to the streets today. Now, that number is also based on the number of signatures an opposition campaign here managed to get over the course of the last several months. What they are calling on is President Mohamed Morsi to step down from power. They say that one year after being elected, he has failed to live up to the promise of the revolution. The situation has gotten worse. He has polarized the country. And today, it is as divided as it has ever been between the liberal secular youth opposition, mostly those people here behind me, and the Islamist supporters, including the Muslim Brotherhood, that back President Mohamed Morsi. Two ideological camps have taken root here in the country, and right now the battles that are unfolding over the next several days really are a test of wills about which one of these two camps will prevail. President Morsi and his supporters say that he is the democratically elected president of the country. He has a mandate to govern. They say that it would be unacceptable for him to step down because he did garner the most number of votes. But there are people here among those who voted for him that say he has abused his powers and he has run the country amok. That's why they're out here on the streets. The concern is that it can get violent. They have seen similar protests in the past already since Wednesday when the streets started to swell with these opposition protests. Since Wednesday, we have seen at least seven people killed, including one American. And that's why the country is on a heightened state of alert. That's why the military is being deployed. Security has been deployed at key government installations. And we heard today earlier from U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry, the United States is watching very closely what is going to happen in Egypt in the coming hours.